With no definitive word on whether that debris is really connected to the missing plane, the families of passengers continue to watch and wait. Chinese Special Envoy and Vice Foreign Minister Zhang Yusui met Thursday with relatives of the Chinese passengers as they waited for news in Kuala Lumpur. Zhang has urged Malaysia to continue the search with all the assets at its disposal. So far, China has deployed 21 satellites, more than 10 ships and more than 10 aircraft. Zhang told the families that China will never give up as long as there is hope. He said China will ask Malaysia to coordinate the international search effort and to strengthen information sharing with China. Meantime, the Chinese community in Perth, Australia, is offering its support. CCTV's Tony Cheng has that. Grounded for the second time this week as bad weather brings Thursday's search to an early close. The US Navy's P-8 Poseidon didn't even make it off the ground. China's Aleutian 76 had made it into the skies, only to be forced back by driving rains and high winds. But while the search for wreckage continues without success, there is now a growing acceptance the final resting place is off the coast of Perth. And we are now preparing for the imminent arrival of many family members if and when that debris is confirmed as being of that aircraft. And we will do the best we can to warmly embrace them. And while this is clearly not an ideal situation to be welcoming visitors to her city, the mayor knows the families will find a warm welcome. The world is watching Perth and, you know, we feel sad that our city is tied to such a disastrous incident, but we really want to show that we are very compassionate, that we are there to help the victims. This isolated city on the coast of Western Australia has found itself in the centre of the world's media glare. Perth is the very image of a successful modern city. But playing host to a thousand mourning relatives of those who passed away on flight MH370 could be a very heavy burden to bear. With a population of two million, the city has benefited from Australia's mining boom. But the high cost of living and scarcity of hotel rooms could be a problem for the sudden arrivals. The hand of friendship, however, has been extended by Perth's 60,000 strong Chinese community. With so many Chinese victims on board, they're preparing for every eventuality. We're just putting ourselves on standby. Uh, we haven't been in this sort of situation before, so we can uh, provide support in terms of you know, translating services, find a shoulder to lean on, talk to someone, and find out whatever else they need. Everything now hinges on the search operation. As night fell on Thursday, news that conditions had improved. Flights will resume in the morning for the wreckage of flight MH370. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Perth. Western Australia.